and Pacific Standard. Amen. But today I want to talk about building the ark because the flood is coming. Let me tell you. Yes, days of glory are coming, but also days of darkness are coming. Difficult days are coming. And let me tell you, I believe Noah was a prototype. Noah was a prototype for you and I. And I believe people like you and I, right now, we need to build the ark. We need to build an ark. What is the ark? The ark is a covering mechanism of God. An ark is a covering system. So that even when it rains, hails, storms, even when all hell is going on around you, you're protected and you're covered. Can I get an amen? But you see, Noah was building an ark, but he was a laughing stock of the town. Noah had a prophetic eye and Noah saw into the future. Do you know why? Because faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. So Noah heard the word of the Lord. God gave Noah the word. And so therefore Noah saw into the future and Noah began to build for the future. Some of you are building for the future. Let me tell you, you and I, we need to prepare. We need to build for the future. Let me tell you right now, a lot of people are only living for their pleasure today, for their present feelings today. When you and I, we need to build for the future. And like I said, there are days of glory coming, but there's also days of darkness coming. There's dark, hard times coming. And let me tell you, even in the next few months to the end of this year, there's going to be more tragic things taking place. Listen, a few weeks ago, I prophesied here on Facebook Live that there's going to be more outages, more power outages, more city shutdowns, unusual weather patterns. Did I not prophesy this? And guess what? There's a heat wave all across America right now. Cities are getting shut down. Cities Lights, electricity are shutting down. There's blackouts. Yes, HARP, the government, the One World Order is controlling a lot of these things. But let me tell you, this is a season where unusual activity and unusual circumstances are going to take place. So you and I need to build an ark like Noah did. You see, Noah was a laughing stock. Whenever you are a pioneer or whenever you are a prototype, you'll be a laughing stock. You'll be public enemy number one. Whenever you are building something for the future, people will discredit you. They'll make fun of you. They'll not believe you. <laughs> Why? Because you're a pioneer. You are a prophetic prototype. And Noah was a prophetic prototype. But you see, Noah built the ark. Come on, somebody. Noah built the ark. And the Bible says that eventually, hear me now, when Noah built the ark, his family was saved. And all of the animals were also saved. We already know this story. Noah and his family and the animals were saved. One of each kind, male and female, of each species. They were in the ark. The ark stands for Jesus. The ark stands for the cross. The ark stands for the abode. But hear me now. There is a flood coming. And when the, the Lord flooded the earth, the whole earth was covered over the waters. Hear me now. The whole earth was flooded over the waters for 40 days and 40 nights. What does the Bible say? The word of God says that eventually we are going to be raptured and the whole world is going to become nothing. The whole world is going to be filled with fire. The whole world. Why? Because there's a new heavens and a new earth. So I'm sharing this because even in this season, God is saying, I'm going to keep you above the warfare. You will be above the demonic strongholds. You will be above demonic attacks. You will be above, some say above. You will be above only, not beneath. You will be above only, not below. So Noah in the ark was above the warfare, above calamity, above death. Above poverty, above the economic crash, Noah was above these things. So even when you and I are raptured unto God, we are above the lake of fire, the abyss. We are above the sulfur of burning of the earth. And God says, I'm lifting you up before I bring you back into new land. Does that make sense, people of God? Let me tell you, the Bible says in Genesis 6, verse 13, 
the Lord commanded Noah to build an ark in which his family and every living thing of all flesh were saved from the flood. The flood water destroyed the wicked and all creatures that lived on the land except those in the ark, except those. If you're in the ark, in the Holy Ghost, in the proximity of Jesus, if you're in his inner circle, if you're with him, then you'll be safe. You'll be protected. So there's nothing for you to fear. If you're in the Lord, there's nothing for you to fear. But you see, the Bible says they were saved from the flood. Do you want to be saved from this economic downturn? Do you want to be saved from the market crash? Do you want to be saved from divorce, from falling into sin? Do you want to be saved? Come on, people of God, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall today. Do you want to be saved from the devourer? Of the flesh do you want to be saved do you know how you'll be saved be in the ark be in that ark and not let me tell you don't only be in the ark but also be an ark build an ark be an ark and be in the ark because the flood's coming it's going to be unstoppable the judgment of god is coming to america and is coming to the house of god but yes, we can pray and push back and hold back the judgment. But there is coming a day where the bowls of heaven, the bowls of judgment and justice are going to tip over and fall over. And justice and judgment will be rendered on the earth. But if you obey God, build the ark. If you be an ark and if you stay in the ark, you will be covered and you will be protected. Can I get an amen? The Bible also says that one of every creature, one of every creation that was in the ark was also covered. I believe right now we need to build arks. Do you know why? Because judgment's coming. Chaos is coming. More difficult dark times are coming. So we need to understand how to stay hidden in the presence of God, how to stay hidden in the shelter of the Lord Most High. You see, that word ark in the Hebrew is the same word as the ark or the basket that Moses was hidden in. Someone say, preach, Pastor, man. The same word for ark in the Hebrew is the same word for ark that Moses as a boy was in. That basket saved Moses from drowning in the river. That same word ark in Hebrew is the same word as the ark of God's presence. What is the ark? The ark in the tabernacle in the temple of God. The ark is a coffin. It is a box or a coffin. And that ark had three specific things within the ark. Hear me now, people of God. Within the ark was three items, the tablet of stone, the rod of Aaron, and also the jar of manna. These three things stand for the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the jar of manna, the rod of Aaron, and also the tablet of stone stands for the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and it also stands for the king, priest, and the prophet. But you see the ark, Ark in that word Hebrew, in the Hebrew, means a coffin or a box. What is in a coffin? A dead body. The coffin is a cocoon for you to be transfigured. So when you come out of the box, when you come out of the ark, you're a new creation. Could you imagine Noah and his sons? Could you imagine them being the same after they came out of the ark? No, that ark was a portal. Come on, people of God. That ark was a portal. It's a box. It's a coffin. It's an incubator. It is an upper room. That ark is an upper room. It's a portal to transfigure, to transport, to translate you into a new creation. So that when Noah and the sons came out of the ark, stepped on 
to the earth again after 40 days. Guess what? They were a new creation. They shifted. They were different. They were different from when they went in. You go in one way, you come out another way. They went into the ark one way, but they came out of the ark another way. Amen. And that's what the presence of God do. That's what the glory of God will do. Shatarabababa. If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. You know, the Bible says that Noah and his family was in the ark for over 40 days. Why? It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. But Noah and his family was in the ark for over 40 days. Some scholars believe for over one year. It was to allow the waters to recede and to descend. But hear me now, what happened? Noah released the dove. The dove was released and the dove did not come back. The dove was released, which means in this season, God is saying, I am going to open things up to release the dove, to release the spirit of God, to release the Holy Ghost. I'm going to open up a window. I'm going to open up an opportunity for you. I'm going to open up an opportune Kairos moment for you, for the spirit of God to be released. You see, there was a window on the side and that window on the side could even stand for the side of Jesus. We're on the side of Jesus. There was water. In this season, God wants to release things from your side. God wants to release excess from your side. My goodness. I believe in this season, the Lord is saying that it's time to build the ark because the flood is coming. But when the flood comes, if you hear my words, if you obey, hear me now, people of God, if you obey, and if you hear my word, says the Lord, then you will be covered. You will be hidden. You will be protected from the flood of destruction, from the flood of disaster. Can I say, can you say amen? If you obey, says God, but you have to be willing to look like a fool. You have to be willing to build. You have to be willing to do what others are criticizing you about. You have to go against the grain. You have to be different. Because the flood is coming. We already know. Like I said a few weeks ago on Facebook, I prophesied in the name of the Lord. I said, the Lord said through me that there's going to be extreme weather. Guess what's happening right now? Extreme weather. Let me tell you, in these days, the days will get darker and darker, but you will be blessed. You'll be protected. You'll be covered. You'll be hidden under the shadow of the abode of the Lord God Almighty. Someone say hallelujah. Can you be a Noah? Can you build? Hear me now, people of God. From today till the end of this year, it's time for us to build. And even from today to Rosh Hashanah, which is about two months away now. From today to Rosh Hashanah, which is the head of the year 5783, the new Hebrew year. It's time to build. It's time to prepare. It's time to get ready because the flood's coming. Eventually, the, the little drip of rain will fall. The drop of rain will fall. Eventually, bam. And guess what? More and more and more. The flood, the overflow, the abundance of God. Some people are getting ready for an abundance of just, for an abundance of judgment an abundance of failure. Some people are getting ready to reap judgment. Let me tell you, you and I, we need to prepare to reap the blessings of God. We need to prepare to reap the goodness of God. We need to build to get ready because when it's a time where everyone else is going low, it's a time for you to come up. 
It's not an opposition, it's an opportunity. And even in this economic crash, even in this inflation and all this nonsense going on, it's not time for you to shrink back, but it's time for you to step up. It's time for you to build, it's time for you to grow. It's time for you to go forward. And guess what, what happened? My goodness, when it began to rain, the people that criticized Noah, the people that came against them, mocked them, made fun of them. They said, it's never gonna rain. Well, when it rains, it pours. So the same people who came against them, what does the Bible say? They ran to the ark and they began to knock. Open the door, open the door. And guess what? It was too late. You have to believe now. You have to believe today. Don't say tomorrow. Don't say, oh, next year when I'm comfortable, I'm going to start my business. Oh, next year when it's comfortable, I'm going to start the ministry. Next year when it's comfortable, then I'm going to give my life to Jesus. Guess what? When it was too late, the door was shut. There's a timing to God's blessings. And now is the time. This is the season. People of God, I want you to hear me now. Many people are going to come to you and repent and try to come back into your life. But you say, no way, Jose. That has finished. That has moved on. That opportunity is done. No way, Jose. Some people are going to try to come back into your life and say, man of God, woman of God, let me in your life. You say, no, I'm sorry. You missed your chance. You missed your opportunity. Yes, God is the God of the second, third, fourth, fifth. He's a God of a million chances. But there comes a time in your life where enough is enough. The line is drawn and that is a set time. That is the finish time. And the Lord says, that is it. The flood's coming. So while you still have opportunity, while it is still day, work for the night is coming. Let me tell you, the flood is coming. And when the flood comes, no man-made structure will last. When the flood comes, no man-made structure, no 401k plan, none of your bank accounts, none of your credit lines, nothing is going to last. You need to build the ark of God. You need to build the plan, the vision. You need to build out the word of the Lord. Only obedience to Jesus is going to keep you safe. Only obedience to the Lord is going to keep you right. Those people came back and the door was shut. It was shut. Even if Noah wanted to open it, it didn't matter because God kept it shut. The Bible says God will open up doors that were shut and God will close doors that were opened. God is the door opener. God is the door closer. Let me prophesy to you right now. God is about to close some doors in your life. God is shutting the mouths of lions. God is shutting the door to self-hatred, to depression, to lies, to anxiety. God is closing the door to some demons in your life. And in retrospect, God is opening up doors of blessings, favor, promotion, shalom in your life. The Lord is opening in your life as well. Remember, this is still 2022. This is still the year of the open door. Can I get an amen? This is still the year of the open door. Isaiah 22, 22. God is still opening up doors. God is still opening up realms in the spirit. God is still connecting you, aligning you. God is still moving like never before. But when the door is shut, the door is finished. Stop trying to pry your way in. Stop trying to buy your way in. Bribe somebody to get you in through the door. But enough is enough. Let me tell you, when that door gets shut, many will say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not do these things in your name? And the Lord Yeshua will say, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. There's coming a day, people of God. So today, we need to get ready. We need to repent. We need to come before God. Get your hearts ready before Jesus because the flood is coming. The days are going to get darker, but for the believer, it will get brighter and brighter. The only hope we have is in Jesus. Get in the ark. Get in Jesus. Get in covenant with God. Get in the box, the coffin. Get in, in that realm of the Lord for the flood is coming. 
And remember, when the flood came, Noah was above only, not beneath. You will float above the warfare. Hear me now. You will be above the demons. You will be above the witchcraft. You will be above the nonsense, the nation. You will be above only, not below. When you're with God, you will never sink. When you're with the Lord, you will never be in a sinking ship. You will always be above and be dry. My goodness. Someone say hallelujah. The Lord says build the ark for the flood is coming. Build the ark, people of God. The flood is coming. Let me tell you. When you build the ark, when you become an ark, and when you be in the ark, when you are in the ark, you'll be untouchable. I want you to lift up your hands right now, people of God. Lord, I thank you for the release of this word today. I thank you for the power of God. I see angels being released to you now. I see ministering spirits of fire and wind coming to you now. For God says, I am protecting you. I am hovering over you. I am covering you, says God. And in this season, you're going to see a greater level of provision. You're going to see a greater level of protection. Someone say amen. Give me some hearts and likes right now, people of God. The Lord says in this season, as you follow me, as you obey me, you are going to experience a greater level of provision, a greater level of protection, and a greater power of his presence. The Holy Spirit is being released unto you. And God is saying, I'm going to bring you into an ark. I want you to create an ark. I want you to build an ark, to be an ark. Because provision is coming. Because harvest is coming. Come on, give me some hearts and likes right now, people of God. Share this on your wall. I feel the power of Jesus. And the Lord says, why did I flood the earth? Why did I cover the earth? Do you know why? Because I did not want any demonic trace, stronghold, Nephilim left on the earth as it was in the days of Noah. So it will be in the days of the Son of Man. Yes, they're trying to create superhumans. Yes, there's angels, fallen angels breeding with men and women. My goodness. Yes, there's demonic portals, CERN technology that they're trying to open up. But all of it will fail in Jesus' name. Every evil, wicked plan of the enemy will fall and fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, if you believe it, give me some hearts and likes and say amen. In this season, God is saying, every phony, baloney, counterfeit, Pax Romana, universalistic, universal, universalist, globalist agenda will be brought to nothing. And the church of the Lord, they will rise up. Shut for the name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower that the righteous run to it and they are saved. Some say salvation. In the season, God says, get ready for household salvations. Get ready for household miracles. May your family be an ark of God's presence. May your family, your home be an ark where you are above all of the nonsense and where you are an overcomer, not an undercomer. Lord, I thank you for the power of God. Bless your people today. I declare right now, every single person who is watching this broadcast, live and on the replay that is connected to the sound of my voice, I declare you will be above only, not below. Everything going on, the market crash, the unusual weather, all of this population control, the monkeypox, the nonsense, all of this evil nonsense going on is going to cause you to thrive and soar higher and be the leader and not the tail. God is giving you wisdom. God is giving you strategy. God has anointed you to build an end times ark. God has anointed you to save more people. God has anointed you to catch more people together. The Lord today is allowing you to be a harvester and is expanding and increasing your harvest. My goodness, save as many souls as you can before the flood comes. Reach more people. Preach to more people. Sow more seeds of the gospel into people before the flood comes. It's not too late. It's not too late. 
But a day is coming when the door will be shut. But a day is coming when it will be too late. People of God, let me tell you, the flood is coming. Therefore, we need to pray. We need to pray and we need to build the ark. We need to build up the presence of God. Church plants. In a season where churches are closing, I declare more churches will open. In a season where men and women of God are dying and going home to the Lord are being exposed, I declare more men and women of God are rising. A new breed of apostles, pastors, prophets, evangelists, teachers are rising in the name of Jesus. Someone say new breed. The Lord is raising up a new breed. And you are part of that new breed. You are part of that standard. If you believe it, say hallelujah. Give me some hearts and likes, people of God. Because let me tell you, a flood is coming. But it will not surprise you. Uh -huh. It will only bless you. It will only help you. That's why we need to reach out to more people and get as many people in the ark as much as possible before it's too late. What is the ark? The ark is Jesus. The ark is salvation. The ark is putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Shout out to I want you to lift up your hands wherever you're watching from. Thank you, Lord. Shabbat The Lord says a greater covering is coming over you for the days ahead. A greater mantle, a greater measure. A greater mantle, a greater anointing is coming over you for the days ahead. Will you be a Noah and will you build an ark? If that's you, say amen. I am the God that he lives thee. I am the Lord your healer. I took your sins and I healed your disease. I am the Lord your healer. Someone say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shut up, Landara. I just want you to pray in the Holy Ghost wherever you're watching from. I feel the glory of God so strong, so thick right now. The tangible anointing of Jesus. Hey, hey. The Lord says a new level of worship is coming out of you. A new level of praise is coming out of you. The Spirit of God is bubbling up out of you. You will bubble up new songs, new utterances, new praises, new tongues. You will bubble up new ideas. Jesus. I hear the Lord saying right now, my goodness, He's about to expose the fraud. He's about to expose the thief. I just saw exposure coming. Hallelujah. God is about to expose the thief. And when the thief is caught, he will have to pay back sevenfold return recompense. So the Lord says, prepare and build an ark. You won't be surprised by the dark night of the soul. You will not be surprised by, by the dark entities, by the dark web. You will not be surprised by the plays of the enemy. For I will expose them even before it happens. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow. I hear the Lord saying in this season, you will be above only. You will not be beneath. But you need to build. Your obedience builds. You need to build people of God. Someone say build. It's not too late for you to build an ark. It's not too late for you to build a seven-figure business. It's not too late for you to build a company. It's not too late for you to build a ministry, to build a life, to build a family, to build a life for yourself. It's not too late. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
Let me tell you, in this season, people of God, the Lord is going to anoint your hands to build. God is going to anoint your hands, your fingers, to be a skillful warrior, to be a skillful builder. You are about to build something in the name of Jesus that is going to be ahead of the world, ahead of the rest. Someone say amen, Jesus. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has fathomed. Amen. Every other thing is sinking sand. <laughs> the Tower of Babel, they tried to build to go up to God, sinking sand. The pyramids, Nebuchadnezzar building the statue, sinking sand, all became nothing. Because only the word of God. Heaven and earth will fade away, but only God's word will remain. Only the word of the Lord, not even a tittle and not even a fiddle will be removed. Someone say, I am a builder. Someone say, I am a builder like Noah. So those who hear and have eyes to see will be able to build for the future. I believe you are a futurist. You are a futurist. Every prophetic person, anybody who loves the Holy Ghost, you are of the future. You are not of this world. Lord, I thank you for these people watching today. Thank for the power of God, for the glory of God. And I thank you, Jesus, that you will use and anoint these people to build an ark. For there is a flood of destruction coming. A flood of financial crisis, a flood of violence, of demonic delusion activity that's coming. But I thank you, your people. Yes, you, you will be protected in the power of Jesus Christ. Some would say, I'm protected. Some would say, I am blessed. Somebody say, amen. People of God, if this word bless you today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. And I want you to share this on your wall. Because let me tell you, from today, like I said, from today to Rosh Hashanah, 5783, I'm going to be talking more about Rosh Hashanah 5783 in the next few weeks. But from today to Rosh Hashanah, and then from today to the end of this year, the end of 2022, God wants us to build new structures, new systems. He wants you to build to get ready for what's about to come. People will not understand it. People will criticize you. They'll be against you. But you know by the Spirit of God, You've been beckoned and commissioned by heaven to do what he's called you to do, which is to build. Why would you build an ark when it's hot and sunny? You're in the desert. There's no spock, spickle of rain clouds anywhere. Why would you build an ark? Because you're obedient. Because you know there's something more and beyond that's coming. In Jesus' name. Well, if this word bless you today, and if you're in agreement, give me some hearts and likes, share this on your wall. Thank you so much for joining. Remember tomorrow morning I'm doing, I believe it's gonna be on Facebook, a uh, broadcast on the Holy Spirit School and Friday morning, Friday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, I'm releasing our monthly prophetic word for August. I'm gonna release the prophetic word of the month for the month of August. You don't wanna miss that, it's gonna be powerful. And it's Saturday evening, I'm doing a Clubhouse event on the social media app platform called Clubhouse. And after that, I'm also ministering at a house church in the Los Angeles area. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for being a friend, a follower, a subscriber. If this word blessed you today, please share this on your wall. And if you like the content of our ministry, as you see on Facebook, on social media, please give us a like, subscribe, follow. And also click the bell button on the bottom of this Facebook Live broadcast so that you will be notified whenever I come on live. I come on live two, three times a week to release prophetic words, revelation, and impartation weekly. So I love you. God bless you. I will see you soon. Shalom.